Okay, today we're going to be looking at the um, Evo line three socket system. This is actually a stainless steel with a black collar. Stainless steel usually comes with a silver collar, but this is one we've just got on the workbench. So as you can see here, we've got a hole already drilled in the work surface. It's 102 millimeters. You'd use a standard uh, drill bit, much like this, a hole saw. Uh, we supply these for cutting through wood or granite, um, or if you're having a preformed worktop, you can specify a 102 mil hole prior to getting it installed. Leave yourself a couple of inches from the work surface at the back, uh, just so it doesn't unstrength and weaken the uh, worktop too much. So it's pretty simple, we've drilled a hole. We take the Evo line system, usually come with a couple of meters cable here. This one's got the plug off, often supplied without the plug um, attached so that it can be chased through easily into an adjacent cabinet or into a fuse spur. Um, you just pop the plug on uh, once you've, you've got it connected up. So we're just gonna drop this one in here. We're going to look at what position, you know, where we want to have the plugs on this one. Let's have it 90 degrees to the wall. So we're going to position it like that. We're going to take the this retaining nut, which goes underneath. As you can see, there are three holes in here. Once this screws up onto the underside, we can place the three small screws that we supply into the underneath of the worktop to stop it spinning around. So I'm going to take this nut, thread the cable through, we're going to push it up here and then we're going to start just hand turning. Just Okay, we're just going to hand tighten this nut. You can see there, it's there pretty solid. Um, and then we then place the three screws underneath just to hold the unit so it doesn't move over time. Um, okay, so then what would happen in order to lift the, um, the unit up, we would push Push your hand down here, so that raises raises the top. Okay, you then place your thumb under the unit, pull the unit up. Okay, you take whatever device it is you're planning to plug in. This, for example, um, the device will hold itself upright. Um, or what will usually happen is you'll push push the unit down like so. And it will then leave the trailing cable uh, neatly kind of held there. You could have up to you know three devices plugged in there and there'd be enough room for the cable to come up. Um, so then to remove the unit, we would pull the unit up, remove the plug, and push it down again. Uh, installation time, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, these are available, chrome, stainless steel, white, black. Uh, we can make them to order in any color. But essentially that is how, how the Evil Line system works and uh, very quickly how we would install one. Uh, as with all the Evil Line products are available on our website, worktoppower.co.uk. Thanks.